guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. Today I want to show you guys how I study my Bible. Now there's a bunch of different ways you can study your Bible, but I have my own particular way. And I just want to show you guys that way. If you like it, you go ahead and copy it. And if you don't, just go ahead and use your way or some other different ways. This isn't one particular way to study the Bible. There's many ways you can do. And the way I study my Bible is like this. I study one scripture a day. The scripture is always from the Bible app, and that scripture is always in the NLT version. But I also have my Bible right here, which is in the King James version. So I read the scripture from both King James and NLT to see which version I understand. Sometimes maybe the King James version, sometimes maybe the NLT. It's it's either one. It's it's not always the same one. And right after I pick whatever version I understand better, I write it in my notebook and I also write some notes on the scripture just writing what I understand and what I got from the scripture that way I could always look back on that scripture later on if I need it now right now guys I'm beginning to pray and then right after I'm going to show you how I studied the Bible Father God we thank you for this day that you have made I will rejoice and be glad to God I pray it's not about to get into your word, God. I pray that your hands will bless and cover the word, God. I pray that I'll be able to comprehend your word, God. I pray that I'll be able to apply it some way, somehow in my life, God. I pray that you continue to be with me each and every day, God. I pray that no open form against me shall prosper. In Jesus' name, amen. Now I'm going to just show you guys in action exactly how I do it. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 32. I'm reading from the NLT version. The scripture will be on the screen. Instead, be kind to each other. Tenderhearted, forgiven one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. King James Version now. And be ye kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiven one another, even as God for Christ had forgiven you. Now, in this case, I understand the NLT version better. So I'm going to write it down in my book, and then I'm just going to start jotting notes down on what I got from the scripture. <music> Okay guys, what I got from this scripture is be kind to one another and forgive one another for their wrong against you or their sin against you because God forgives us for our sins through Christ dying on the cross for us. Because if you want God to forgive you for your sins, you gotta forgive one another for their wrong against you and their sin against you. And once I'm done to finish writing the scripture and my notes on it, I just like to re say it in my mind and then I pray right after it. So Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32 says, Instead, be kind to each other, tender hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. My notes, be kind to each other and forgive each other for their wrong or sin against you because God forgives you through Christ. Now, guys, I'm going to get into my prayer. Father God, I thank you. I praise you and I worship you, God. I thank you for this day that you've made. I will rejoice and be glad in God. I just pray as your word says, be kind to one another and forgive one another, God. I just pray that I'll always remember that, God. When any wrong is being done against me or sin against me, God, I pray I'll be able to forgive that person, God. Because if I want you to forgive me, I need to forgive others, God. I pray that I'll always remember that each and every day, God. In Jesus' name, holy name, God. Amen. That's it for the video, guys. That's how I study my Bible. If you like it, go ahead and use it. And if not, do the way that you're already using or find a different way to study the Bible. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Please like, subscribe, peace. <laughs>